The Path of Exile University Dictionary defines loot explosion as an extremely large, messy, and overwhelming amount of items on the screen dropped from one or many monsters at once. Alternatively, it says a complete cluster. In Path of Exile 3.23 Affliction, loot explosions might be more common than ever before, even larger than the arch nemesis loot goblins of Lake of Calandra even bigger than the sanctum divine and mirror juiciness I thought was going to be severely nerfed this very league. It's truly insane, my fellow exiles, and before we discuss why this exact scenario will likely not happen in Path of Exile 2, based on a recent interview PUE2 game director Jonathan Rogers had with Kriparian, let us bask in the glory of Affliction's loot explosions and explain what's going on succinctly. Look at this big one. Here's another one, and another. This one was done solo. Here's another, in hardcore solo self found. All these exiles are juicing their maps using the affliction mechanic. As soon as they enter a map, they hop into the Viridian Wildwood and attempt to find as many wisps as possible. All colors are needed to get these enormous explosions, yellow, blue, and purple. Players have been reporting the need to get all wisp colors over 2,000 or even 3,000 for the minimum massive booms. Blue is tied to currency drops, purple is tied to increased item rarity, and yellow is tied to increased item quantity. But really, all are needed to get what you're seeing on screen now. Although juicing any map like this can secure you divines, Tier 0 uniques like Headhunter and Mageblood, and Baldo's Puzzle Box drops galore, many people have settled on farming a specific map with a very specific strategy. These exiles are farming Tier 7 cemetery maps specced heavily into Abyss. They juice their maps with Wisps, Scarabs, Sextants, and as much Magic Find gear as possible, then hope the Abysses on the map spawn Oodles and Oodles of rares, including a rare that spawns other rares based on how many projectiles it shoots, a modifier that is actually buffed by the Wisps. All their boosts to Magic Find, although it's especially juiced by the Affliction mechanic, are causing these loot explosions of Uniques, Scarabs, and Valuable Currency. The ridiculous number of items on the ground are the result of how magic finding works in Path of Exile 1, and it's possible this is changing in Path of Exile 2. In his recent interview with Crip, Jonathan Rogers, one of two game directors of PUE2, expressed concern about the level of loot explosion and clutter not only in the Affliction League mechanic, wherein they went too far, but in Path of Exile generally. It has been an issue for a while and one they've always been keen on solving. However, it would be a huge change in PUE 1 to alter how item quantity, rarity, and generally loot stacking works. Players might not take it too well there. In PUE 2 though, they would like to learn from their past mistakes in their series and start PUE 2 off better and fresh. Thusly, Jonathan presented somewhat of a solution to this problem, though its exact implementation is not fully confirmed or clear as of yet. After I lay it out, let me know what you think about it in the comments, please. Right now, when you juice maps in PUE 1, these maps drop a ton more items. Most of the time, they also drop tons of unique items because of the way item rarity stacks. It moves items from normal, to magic, to rare, and finally, too unique. However, so many of these uniques are just filtered out and actually worthless despite a heavy investment into improving item rarity through magic find gear, difficult modifiers on the map, or other factors. In Path of Exile 2, what if juicing maps didn't lead to simply more items on the ground and tons of unique items based on item rarity, but perhaps double, only double, the number of regular items that would drop from the map, but these items are 1,000 times more valuable than the ones from the non-juiced map. That way, people who juice maps need not sort through tons of items, throw items away, or have their screens cluttered. They simply have better items waiting on the ground for them. That's the idea. It's simple in concept, right? But in execution, it might be difficult. That's really where Jonathan left it, but I'd like to develop it a bit more and hear what all of you exiles think. So, the more we juice a map, the better items that drop from said map. What could this mean? 
I think it would be interesting if the higher the investment, the higher chance the affixes on items have to be of higher tiers and well rolled. Think of a maximum juiced map not dropping thousands of items, but double the items of a non-juiced map, but all of those items are actually usable rares with high tier mods. The mods might not fit together, and maybe they wouldn't always be well rolled, but it would give you a good base to work on. After you work in other items like fractured bases, synthesized items, unique items, currency, you can really form a good system here. How about uniques? Well, if they continue to work off their tier system, the more juice, the higher chance you have for a more valuable tier unique to drop. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not believe that is how it works now. Mega juicers get more tier zero uniques because they force a ton of items to drop. This would eliminate all the hundreds of unneeded heavy and leather belts and just sometimes drop that spectacular tier zero one. Of course, if this were to happen, it would be the death of the loot explosion. But might there be a middle ground, my fellow exiles? It's an aspect of PoE many have come to adore, and I'm sure lots of PoE 1 players will want something akin to it in PoE 2. I'm of the mind that it can exist, albeit in the form of a usual Alva-style bomb, or what we used to see back in Ultimatum League. We don't need the sheer insanity of Affliction League. There's really a bunch of sweeping changes regarding loot and items arriving in PoE 2. There's the philosophy that a map's loot and time should be split evenly between the map boss, the map's monsters, and the map's special extra or league mechanics. Then there's changes to crafting, like the Chaos Orb becoming an annulment orb and an exalted orb in one. It's going to be a wild ride. I'll be here for you and all the rest of it. All of this is a bunch to take in, I know. Please let me and everyone else know your thoughts in the comments. Anyways, that's all for this video. Talamoana, exile.